Hello everybody, welcome back to Hard Reset Info. This is the iPhone 17 Pro and that little shape on the screen, that's the dynamic island. Apple introduced it a couple of years back, but with the iPhone 17, it's finally starting to feel a little bit more complete. So in this video, I'll show you the mastering of the dynamic island feature. So, after the iPhone 17 got released, the dynamic island just feels faster, it feels smoother and more connected to what you're doing. So from simple stuff like Face ID or calls, the system alerts and now multiple live activities running at once. So you can have two things running side by side like your music and a timer or navigation and a workout. So let's move on and play some music. Now after I leave the app, it will just get thrown into the dynamic island. So the animations of course are amazing and now I'll turn on the timer so let's click on timers let's start the timer and as you guys can see the timer is right here we can also click it without like hiding our music we can also hide it as you guys can see we can do a little swipes and then our dynamic island will disappear so, for example, if we don't want our timer here, we can just hide it and then we can show it again. And if we don't want our music, then we can just swipe to the left and hide it. So, yes, this is amazing. And also, the dynamic island shows everything else, like the AirPods connection, screen recording. And now as you guys can see we can just start screen recording so give me a second and i'll show it to you so now we can just click on our screen recording here we have the countdown and also we can stop the recording right here just by clicking on the dynamic island then clicking pause right here and you will have the information that the recording has been saved to the photos now developers can now tap into the dynamic island too so third party apps can show live info here for example your uber eta or anything else but for this video we're focusing on what your iphone can do out of the box so this year the island isn't just something you look at and you interact with it so you guys can long press it as i've showed you before with the music to interact with it so you can get the controls for the music the airdrop calendar events voice memos and it's all without leaving what you're doing at the moment so with the iphone 17 pro the dynamic island isn't just a cool animation anymore it's becoming a real part of the ios experience so it's smart useful and finally it's kind of essential so that's basically it for the video, if you enjoyed it then leave a like, subscription and a comment and I'll see you in the next one, bye.